So this week's review is one that I have been talking about a bit uh, previously. Completely picked up on a whim. Um, I was at Big Top Brewing in Sarasota, Florida, and I saw this bottle there called Insane Clown. I uh, saw it was an Imperial Stout, and I figure a lot of the times one Imperial Stout can be the same as another, um, and didn't really pay it much mind. Looked up some reviews on it, and then I started seeing people comparing it to Hunapu's from Cigar City. And then I started to get a little bit more curious about it, and decided to bite the bullet and get a bottle. Um, I've never had Hunapu's, so I'm not even going to be able to make an accurate comparison. Um, I was going to go to Hunapu's Day this year, but just way too pricey for me. But I can give you my impression in terms of how good it is as an Imperial Stout. So here we are, Big Top. Insane Clown Imperial Stout, 13% ABV, barrel aged. Uh, Let's see if there's any other details on here. Uh, I'm gathering the art on here, and you can see the clown is from Alizon Studios, uh, A-L-I-Z-O-N Studios.com. Um, coming in at an insane 13%, our bourbon barrel aged stout is black in color with a burnt brown head. The amazing aroma is full of burnt wood, bourbon, and mild hints of maple syrup, caramel, and vanilla. This insane full-bodied, well-balanced stout has legs for days, and with every sip it will defy what you thought possible in beer. So let's crack this open. I think I've, I, I think part of me has become kind of jaded when it comes to Imperial Stouts. I don't know. Definitely a nice richness to the flavor, though. Or aroma, not flavor. Haven't tasted it yet. Very dark. Not a huge amount of carbonation going on there. Very, 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 very little lacing from the head there that you can see, but very, very dark. I'm trying to think of the last stout I've, uh, Imperial Stout I've had that I could even compare this one to. It's been a while. Ooh. There is a smoothness in that that I did not expect at all from the aroma. I was expecting a big, big booze hit. And there is a booze hit with this. But it's not nearly as strong as I would have anticipated. The roastiness is really nice. I'm getting that, um, I'm really getting that barrel flavor in there really comes through nice without um, without too much bourbon on it. I'm actually getting that kind of woodsiness of it, which is nice. A lot of the times you get overloaded on that bourbon flavor when it comes to bourbon barrel aging, and you lose those qualities of the barrel itself. This one seems to still have that in it. And I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of chocolate on the nose now, too. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that vanilla. I just, okay, I'm picking up the coffee and the flavor. Now, it's, each sip, it's developing more and more and more. And I have a feeling this is one that would develop even more and more and more as you let it warm to the room, too. There's a lot of complexity in this. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. If this is anywhere close to Hunapu's, I understand the hype that Hunapu's gets. That is, that is really, really, really good. Very, very drinkable. Dangerously drinkable for a 13%. There's, there's not like a lot of like cloying aftertaste or anything. It just goes down really smooth and you get a little bit of warmth and burn coming down at the end. But for the most part, very smooth, very drinkable, very flavorful, very balanced. I mean, it's, it's got everything going for it. One more sip. Damn, and the aroma, the, the aroma is stronger than the flavor, oddly enough, which is nice. Uh, that is really, really good. Like, I, I don't know if I've ever called a stout refreshing, per se, but this comes really close to a refreshing stout. That's, that's really, really good.
very pleasantly surprised by that. I almost thought it was just going to be another Imperial Stout for me. But Big Top proves me wrong. Insane Clown Imperial Stout. Big Top Brewing, Sarasota, Florida. This is 13% ABV. A barrel-aged beer. Um, my reviews might get a little bit more sporadic from this point forward. Um, just, again, with my beer budget and... Depending on what I find that I even find worthy of reviewing, a lot of stuff I pick up now, I, I go for sale prices so I can make my dollar stretch a little bit more, things like that. But rest assured, if something comes into my fridge that I find I, I got to share this with the public, it'll, it'll come up. So with that, until the next review, whenever that may be.